Travelers Todd here. We're traveling around Disney, and me and Michelle have finally made it back to Epcot because we have a lunch date today at Rosen Crown in the United Kingdom Pavilion. So come along, and there she is right there. So come along, and let's go have a great lunch at Rosen Crown in United Kingdom. It's a gorgeous day. We're right here in front of, of course, Spaceship Earth. The characters are out, and when you're at Spaceship Earth, the shortest and quickest way is head to the right, right over here through the pathway to the World Showcase Pavilion. Okay, we have made our way to World Showcase, and the first country we'll run into on our way to the United Kingdom is Canada right up here. Okay, we are heading through the history of the UK with all the little shops and everything along the way. And we are heading right to the end of the street to Rosen Crown. And that's also where Rosen Crown Pub is. So this is the Rosen Crown Pub that is right in front of the Rosen Crown. But there is a doorway right over here that will lead you from the Rose and Crown restaurant to the Rose and Crown pub. The restrooms are over here by the Rose and Crown pub bar area. But you know what? I never knew they had an elevator here. So they must have storage or meeting rooms upstairs. Travelers, we have made our way to the Rose and Crown and the UK Pavilion. Hi. Hi there. We are looking over the menu here at the Rose and Crown, and it's pretty, I mean, it's a pretty basic menu. But sitting here looking, and we're trying to determine what would be the most authentic UK dish. So I would think it would be the scotch eggs for for appetizers. Well, they don't. They have the cheese butter, the yeah. carnation salad, and then soup, which we know is tomato based. And the cor coronation salad has madras dressing. So I'm not sure what kind of dressing that is, but that sounds interesting. Um, I think we're going to get the scotch and egg. Scotch egg. Scotch egg. Not scotch and eggs. I'm, I'm drinking eating eggs. Sure, we'll try that. Okay. It is a, we're going to get, the scotch egg is a golden fried hard boiled cage free egg wrapped in sausage with mustard sauce. And that is $13. It's only one little thing, it's going to be really good. Okay, if not, we'll order another appetizer. <laughs> we'll just see. Now for today's dining experience, we're actually sitting outside on the deck area. And this is actually where the fireworks packages tables are all along here. Because as you can see, right there is the World, Sh World Showcase Lagoon. And that's where the fireworks take place right there. So we have a beautiful table to enjoy our lunch today. We have placed our order for our entrees. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do the stall thing anymore. It's over. It's over. I cannot remember. It's over. It's over. We did go with the sky. <laughs> we're bad recyclers. Yeah, we're bad recyclers. Can Michelle? I add yeah. another little tag tip while we are yeah. talking about the table and the reservation. Our waitress said that if you make a reservation for the 
fireworks mm -hmm. party, we're definitely on this tier down here by the water. Right. So I guess the walk-ups, of course, go back behind you. Correct. And I think you mentioned that tonight, since it's colder, they move everybody from here up a level. Right, because, because they have the waters. heaters underneath. Like little baby chickens. <laughs> yeah, you're sitting under heat lamps. Okay. <laughs> so Michelle got the fish and chips. She went straight UK. I'm a duck. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're a duck. <laughs> Michelle went with the fish and chips, which is Rosen Crown's signature dish, beer battered, and served with tartar sauce. And I believe that comes with chips, which are french fries, or big wedge Someone chips. Would argue yeah, that. yeah, there's always that argument. Yeah. And I went with the Welsh Pub Burger, which is an Angus beef patty with beer cheese sauce, bacon, and beer battered leeks served with a side of mayonnaise and I'm sure that also comes with chips and that is $22 and Michelle's was $26 then we seen something on the menu that we have no idea what it was and we told our waitress don't tell us what it is but we're going to order some it's the bubble and squeak it is a side order for $6 I have no idea what so it is everybody's like oh you're going to love it or they're laughing yeah. or they're like, it's uh, something wrong that we shouldn't know what it is yeah can yeah. you take a guess? What do you think it is? Bubble and squeak. I'm going to say it has something to do with peas. It has something to do with well, peas, have but they've peas had now. mushy peas already. Bubble and squeak. I don't but know. It's a side order, so it's a food. Yeah. So what's a bubble? Potatoes? Is it a potato? It could be. Like, what is a squeak? Squeaks. I don't know. Like, is it onions? oil? Is it potatoes and onions? I'm going potatoes and onions. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> What is a UK dish? I don't, I don't know. I didn't realize chicken masala curry was the national dish say, of England. Oh, I'm going to say it's macaroni and cheese. Oh, Michelle's going macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Why, where's the bubble come in at macaroni well, and cheese? Well, macaroni because it bubbles. Okay, high. okay. So we're going to see. <laughs> and cheese because it squeaks sometimes when you eat it. How it goes. Okay. That could be. I'm gonna say macaroni and so cheese. Michelle went with macaroni and cheese, and I'm going with potatoes and onions. We'll see who's correct. The appetizer has arrived, and I believe that must be the that bubbly. must be the bubbly oh and God. squeak. Yes. Okay, so promised. what is bubbly and squeak? It's a pecan potato with cabbage and bacon, in it, and they pan fry it, and it bubbles up and make a squeaky sound. When it's done. That's why they call it bubbly. Okay. Right. I guess macaroni and cheese. She's getting macaroni. <laughs> yeah. I guess potatoes and onions. Uh, so I was the closest. You was the closest. You was the closest. I was closest. So this is the Scotch egg right here. Look at that. Looks great. Never had this before, so we're going to give that a try. And this is the bubble and squeak. As she explained on camera, it is potatoes with cabbage. And it makes a bubbling and squeaking sound when they cook it in the pan. So that's why it's called bubble and squeak. So we're going to try the bubbly and squeak first. And it's got potato. Bubble and squeak. It's got potato and cabbage. So it's going to be good. This is almost like a potato pancake. Yeah. Like we make. Oh, let's see the cabbage. There we go. Cheers, honey. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. A potato pancake, but I do like the cabbage in there. On the bottom. And the chives add a little something to it. So that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, and you can actually, that cabbage really comes through when you get a good bite of it. That's not bad. But that cabbage casserole you make, oh my gosh. Michelle makes a cabbage casserole. That is, oh, it's so good. It's a skillet casserole. I don't care. It's good. Okay. Scotch egg? Okay. Get a little egg. Sausage. And it is deep fried there. It looks like it's fried right there, as you can tell. A little bit of the, the egg. Never had this before. Never tried this. I don't see bacon either. That has bacon. Yeah, I'm just bacon on it. Let's go. Mm. That is really good. 
and I will tell you. It's like a double egg. Yeah. But the mustard and they salt it and pepper it really nicely on top. So it really adds to that depth of flavor. Very tangy. Yeah. And they cut it in half so I can't eat more than I'm not supposed to. And I don't know why I like boiled eggs, but I like the yellow like that. I love boiled eggs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Very, very good. I like this hat. What is this for? What's it's garnish. Why is that on my plate? Why? It's a garnish. Actually, you know what? I'll eat it with some of the scotch egg here. Mmm. It's pretty good. Actually, it's a little seasoned. Tastes like it has a dressing on it. It's seasoned well. Tell me if I'm wrong. What is this? Right? It's a vegetable. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's really good too. Once again, judge the book by its cover. And I needed to read the story. Uh, yeah. You got a lot of fish. Our appet I mean, our entrees just came, and I was looking at Michelle's plate. She's got three huge pieces of fish, but this is my burger right here. Look at that. Oh, my chip almost fell off. All right, this, oh my gosh, this looks really good. Got a nice little char on it with all the bacon. Oh, look at that. Mm. Cannot wait to give this a try. And my hair's like all like, Ooh. Now look at this. This is, yeah. This is Michelle's fish and chips. Look, look at the big old pieces of fish right there. I mean, incredible. This is about the prettiest hamburger I've I know, seen. and it's gorgeous. It both food is pretty. <laughs> we eat with our eyes. <laughs> but there's her chips. But look at that. All three big old pieces of fish on there. That looks good. And comes with two women wedges and tartar two and what? two women lemon wedges. That's what I thought you said. What did I say? Women. Women le <laughs> lemon wedges and tartar sauce and ketchup. And we have the freshwater seagulls right behind us making all the beautiful noise. This burger looks so good. I'm sure they're not. They're seagulls. They're, these are seagulls. <laughs> what did I say they were? Doves? No, what did yeah, they call Yeah, you called them doves. Pigeons. See, yeah, those aren't pigeons. Those are seagulls. <laughs> yeah, but you're in the UK. Isn't that pigeons? Well, yeah, but <laughs> they migrated over. Wait, they've also got seagulls in the UK. Because they got... They're, it's an island. Oh my god. Island? Oh, oh, please. We may have to cut that out because she just said the UK is not an island. It's not an island. It's not? No. No? Is it? What, what body of land is it connected to? I don't know what it I'll is. I'll wait. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. To all of our UK travelers, please I'm comment down below everything. I'm going to cut it out. No. Don't you dare. I don't, I don't, I'm looking at the map. I don't know. No, the English Channel is between. Okay, we're going to eat now. <laughs> I'm going to cut my hand by that in half. <laughs> go ahead. You go right ahead. Okay, the fried leeks on here, by the way, look really neat. Would you like to try my burger? Sure. 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 When you get it ready. Put it right on the fridge. Right on. We didn't have to cut off on it. Well, I gave you a big old piece of bacon. Well, it's not a very far stretch from the vinegar to ketchup. Yes. Ketchup Are you ready? There it is. There is the inside of my burger right there. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Here we go. Yeah, it's that um, beer cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Man. That beer cheese on there, 
with those fried leeks. You get a beefy taste. Yeah. Got a little char on it right there, as you can see. Char lines. This is this is a good burger. I did get a cooked medium. I think I would have liked it a little bit, maybe a little undercooked medium to get a little more pink in that center, but I can't complain. It's great. And this is their chips. They're not the big, this is what they consider their chips. Mm. Very nice, very nice. Michelle is gonna let me try her fish. She's such a trooper. She wasn't sure, do you dunk in the malt vinegar? Do you just sprinkle the malt vinegar? Or do you not use malt vinegar? Oh man. I am a sprinkle of the malt vinegar type of guy with the fish and chips. They give me a big old bottle. And I like a lot on that. How about you? Would you? Oh, you're going with tartar sauce? She's going with tartar sauce. Here we go. Mm. The crunch of the batter. Oh, it's fantastic. Mm hmm. It's very good. It's very light. Ooh. A little woman's up. Okay. I would consider this a ver great version of fish and chips right here. It's Just, really good to me. Yeah, it's really good. It's not Captain D's. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's really good. I'm happy. Two good choices. For I thought to begin with it might be a little on the pricey side, but I figured it was kind of fish. But after I got my plate, yeah. it's really good. Yeah. I, with those three big old pieces of fish that you got on there, and the size of this burger, and like I said, Michelle's fish and chips were 26, and my burger was 22, so you really can't beat it. They also give you a side of mayonnaise, but I think it's more like ketchup and mayonnaise. Taste that. It's for your fries. It looks like um, Thousand Island. It looks like Kewpie. Mm. Or... Yum yum sauce to me. Mm -hmm. you want some? Oh. Is it like barbecue sauce I made mean? I don't know. It's pretty good. But they bring you a little container of that for your fries. Very nice. I love crispy burnt fries. They're so good. got a kick to it or something. I don't know. Jessica, our server just came by and we did order dessert, which is a sticky pudding. We figured that's the most traditional here. Uh, we asked her about the menu and the lunch and dinner menu are the exact same. Nothing different. Same prices and everything. They are having a dining package right now and they usually have it during all the festivals and it is a prefix menu of entree, appetizer, drink, and dessert, and that also gets you priority access into any of the concert series that they're having here at Epcot. So that's also something else to look at when you're making reservations, because that's a whole different type of reservation that you make on the My Disney Experience app. It'll be called the Concert Series or the Garden Rock Series, Food and Wine Series, but always look at that also for an option to eat at some of your favorite locations in the World Showcase. Travelers also, don't forget to continue to send in your questions. We're gathering them up for our question Q&A on the 27th, the last Sunday of this month, and we'll be showing the Travelers Board. So if you haven't sent your name and location, for them. what is that question? I want to know if there's any restaurants that we've skipped over that somebody out there is dying to see. Okay, that's a great question. 
There were tons of openings yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess everybody got in here with the weather or something, and now today there's nothing. Yeah. Like zero. Like no walk ups. Like nothing. And that's why we Which always like, say, yeah, that's why we always say check the 24 hours before you're going because there's a lot of stuff that'll open up. People cancel, give up the reservation, so always check a day before. And if there's a place you really want to go, don't be bashful. Don't even ask. Because it sounded like there was a couple people that even got in here. Yes, like, there was. really officially taking walkers, but, you know, sometimes I think if you hit it at the right time. If they have spots, the right they're going to fill them. Yeah, yeah, so. Sometimes. Yeah. If you're nice about it. Yeah. Be, yeah. Be nice. Just be nice. You never know what'll happen when you're it's nice. It's gorgeous today. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. A little bit busier than I thought it was going to be. but So like I said, don't forget to send in your name and location. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscriber button. Or, I'm sorry. If you're not a traveler, hit that subscriber button to become a fellow traveler somewhere on the screen. And remember... Give us a thumbs up if you're liking our content because that's actually how YouTube grades us. So the more thumbs up you get, the more they will push us out there. God, I still hate that word. Yeah. But that's what they call it. They, they promote. promote you. There we go. The more they will promote us out there to fellow travelers. Jessica just brought us our sticky toffee pudding. And it's, uh, let's see, I'm going to tilt the camera down here. I just heard the song in my head, but then realized that was Figgy Pudding, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's Figgy Pudding. Bring, I know. And that's we a Christmas, Christmas song, I know. I know. But we hear the Christmas music. But that is the sticky toffee pudding right there. And I will say, this is probably a truer version of sticky toffee pudding than what they serve at Liberty Tree Tavern. That they say is a sticky toffee pudding. I still say that's a toffee cookie with ice cream on top of it. <laughs> So, me and Michelle are going to give this a try. <laughs> it is. That's sticky coffee pudding. Okay. Good? Yeah, go ahead and get yours. <laughs> okay, got us a big old bite. And I'm going to put a napkin under my because <laughs> I'm afraid. My oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> no, Here we go, ready? <laughs> Mm. I could have came just with that. I did not expect it to be warm. Oh my god, it is warm. It is cool outside. But the flavors of the caramel and that vanilla cream underneath with that cake. Oh my god, that is so good. It does. I'm glad you didn't want to eat it. I just feel the calories. Oh, I just feel the sugar. Man, that is fantastic. It's not quite like, I was expecting like cinnamon roll in a cup. Yeah, but no, it's, it's not. It's not. not. Same exact flavor. Oh, God. It's this vanilla cream. It's very vanilla. Yeah. So, travelers, this is a great dessert. I could have came here just for the dessert. That, I mean, literally. Mm -hmm. We could have shared the fish like plate. A light spice. We could have shared the fish plate. It was so much on her fish plate. The appetizer, the appetizer. Yeah, I had a half piece. It was so good. The bubbly and squeak, the bubble and squeak was really good. The scotch egg was really good. I was really surprised by that. The burger was good. Not my favorite burger. It was good, but it's not my favorite burger on property. Oh yeah, it was. I would, I would have to say that. But all in all, we had a fantastic view. If you can get outside and sit by the water, I know they have an indoor part also, which we'll, which we've shown that. But I would definitely sit out by the water. If I get out by the water, definitely ask for that seat. But we have had a great time, great lunch, nice and relaxing. Oh, I just can't say enough. It was a great day. Thank you, honey. It's been a wonderful time today. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, it is Valentine's Day today when we're shooting this. So we hope you've enjoyed our travels. Yes. Well, they'll probably see it after Valentine's Day. But we hope you had a good We are so glad you enjoyed our travels today and traveled along with us. And like we always say, travelers, until next time, travel and adventure is out there. Hello, Daisy.